Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video and I think I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone this week because we're here at the Philadelphia Fan Expo here at the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Philadelphia. We are here for just a whole bunch of different stuff. There's a bunch of anime stuff here, comic book stuff, just a bunch of celebrities and actors here that you can get autographs from, a bunch of panels, a whole bunch of different stuff. And we got press for it. So huge thank you to Philadelphia Fan Expo for allowing me to come out here and cover this event. This is my first time ever being here, so I'm super excited to see what all there is to offer. It is a massive convention. There is a huge map of things that we can go and check out. There's a, thing, there's a thing right behind me that's like 1v1 a sailor, like a Navy sa a, like sailor. I'm very interested in that. But before we get into anything, please make sure that you are subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure you're following both Instagram and Twitter. The links are down in the description below. So like I said, there is a ton of stuff. Like look at all the artist alley, all the different booths. There is the massive celebrity autograph area, the gaming zone. We're gonna definitely check out that. Food court, of course, and all of the different theaters for the panels. And this is everything that is going on. There's all the people that are gonna be in Artist Alley, all the different retailers that are gonna be here, voice actors. Jody Benson, she is uh, the original Little Mermaid. There is just gonna be a ton of people here. It's it's gonna be super awesome today. Now there also is a ton of Fan Expo merchandise, including some exclusive pop figures that were from other uh, conventions, but they have them exclusive here as well. I don't know, I'll have to see what they have. They also have a bunch of different merchandise, a bunch of comics that you can only get here. Just a whole plethora of things. And I will say there are two people that I'm interested in seeing here today. There are two very important people that I'm interested in seeing. Number one being probably one of the people that I am super like, he, he is probably one of, hopefully one of the nicest actors that I ever meet because that is Henry Winkler. Henry Winkler is here from the Waterboy, from the Fonz, A. Hey, I'm excited to, to meet Henry Winkler and then I'm also excited to meet um, Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie from uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Super excited to meet him but Let's just check out all the vendors that we have here today. All right, you know what? I'm gonna get this out of the way first. It's just right up here. I'm gonna one v one a Navy sailor. I'm gonna see if I can if I can kick some ass, man. We got some smash going on right now. Our challenger is winning. He's kicking it. He's he's kicking his ass. That's all I'm gonna say. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if our Navy SEAL can come back. I think I'm up next, though. Oh, that's game. All right, we are up. We'll see. I'm, eh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I can't believe it. I did it. I got the dub. I won. Uh, I actually won on the last stock. It was one to one, and heading into the last stock, and I got the win. Uh, shout out to that navy, that navy sailor man. That was a great match. I main Kirby. Kirby's my guy, but we got the dub. So let's check out some pretty cool people in Artist Alley. Let's see if there's anybody that I recognize. These are pretty cool. They're like acrylic light, um, desktop lights. They're pretty cool. I like some of these. I've got one for Star Trek. Oh, that's a seal from Doctor Strange. We got Scarlet Witch. There's some pretty cool ones. Now, this is awesome. The ultimate pillow fight. There is a ton of different comic book and just fandom themed different uh, props and stuff. You can get a mace, you can get a lightsaber. That's awesome. These are really cool. Mandalorian Mercs Costume Club. Look at that. Got some Mandalorian over there. Tons of lightsabers. Look at that. <laughs> they even have a tattoo alley here. A entire stretch of just 
a bunch of tattoo artists and you can get your tattoos done right here at Fan Expo. Welcome to Jurassic Park. They have a really cool photo op here where you can get a picture in the Jeep. That is awesome. And they got some different samples of amber with mosquitoes trapped in them. They got the can of, of Barbasol and the Raptor Fang. This is a really cool section here. Now I said I would point out if there was anybody I recognized and Tim Jacobus, the original illustrator for Goosebumps. Lo used to love these old style Goosebumps title pages, the, the covers of the books. They used to always be like so creepy to me. That's probably one of my favorite ones. Say cheese and die. And right here they have Cosplay Alley. And this is an area that you can just go and see what cosplay artists are just creating for their next cosplay. There are some really cool ones. I can see Ultron all the way over there. I love that Glaceon, the Butterfree, the Ghastly. They all look so awesome. I think he's, is he working on Venonat? I think he is working on Venonat. All right, we have made it to the celebrity autograph area. Right here is Henry Winkler, Mr. Coach Klein. His area is right here. Look at all the people waiting for him to show up. And we have All Might, the voice actor for All Might over there. We have Steve Burns, you know, Steve from Blue's Clues. He's here. And all the way over there, we have Jody Benson's over there. Peter Cullen, the voice of Optimus Prime, is over there. Tara Strong, the voice of basically everyone <laughs> um, everyone there's a lot of cool people that are here this weekend and Michael J Fox and Christopher Lloyd are here Christopher Lloyd you know being from Back to the Future same with Michael J Fox but he's also known as, from being Uncle Fester in the Adams Family it's they're both really iconic people all right and here is my other actor that I'm super excited to meet, Randy Quaid. Like I said, he's Cousin Eddie. Come on, man, you can't, how can you not want to get an autograph from Cousin Eddie? We have a long line starting to form over here. And you know, it can only be for one person, really. And it is the man himself. Hayden Christensen, also known as Anakin Skywalker. There is just an absolute ton of people here to get autographs from all these different celebrities, all these different actors. I'm having a really great time here so far. It's, some of these artists are amazing that are here. And like I said, just having the opportunity to come here and get autographs from all these different people are, is just fantastic. But I think it's time that we finally try to get in line to get us an autograph. Like I said, Randy Quaid is over there doing autographs right now. So we're gonna go and get in line for him. Here we are. Up at the front of the line, there's Randy Quaid. Wow, and we're getting a Funko Pop sign, Cousin Eddie and Clark Griswold. There we go, there is our autograph from Randy Quaid. Cousin Eddie. Oh, love this movie, man, love it. All right, so we got Cousin Eddie's signature and now that's a big line behind me. That is Henry Winkler's line, I believe. So we're gonna go and I guess get in line and get our second signature. The only other one that I really care about getting today. All right, we are almost to the front. I got my Waterboy jersey all ready to go. We're going to get this signed by Henry Winkler by Mr. Coach Klan. I, I am starstruck, man. There's, there's not many people that will do that to me, but Henry Winkler, man, he is a person that I have been wanting to meet for so long. And getting the autograph on this Bobby Boucher jersey from the Waterboy, it, and it even got it to say Coach Klein on there, absolutely he is, he is as good as they come, man. He is perfect, he is so nice. If you get the opportunity to see and meet Henry Winkler, I 100% urge you to do so. He is so nice. I'm gonna put up my picture with him right here. What an experience, man. What an experience to meet him. He's, he is just fantastic. And I also forgot to mention while we were in line for Henry Winkler, I actually got to talk to Steve Burns from Blue's Clues. I, I, I mentioned, I was like, yo, we're a town alum, because that's where I, I graduated from, that's where he graduated from, um, for high school. 
and we had a, a little conversation about it and he was he told me a couple facts about the the school I didn't know um, he actually had started at the arts expo at um, at the school and it still goes on to this day so that's just amazing and I'm surprised that the school doesn't really kind of recognize that as much as I feel like they should but Steve Burns and Henry Winkler fantastic but I pretty much that was the two people that I really wanted to see today so we're just gonna continue walking around and I'll point out some more fantastic either cosplays or just art in general around here because there's so much more that we can see today so I found this cool little area fire and ash they do a lot of custom woodworking stuff, including some dice rollers for D&D. Did I get a nat 20? Ah, no. <laughs> so they have these dice tower books here as well. So you just pop up the, dice, the tower and boom, there you go. And then you can just fold it up, use it for storage, and it snaps closed. That is so awesome. That is really cool. Wow, it is getting crowded over here. Um, I will say, it's a Saturday, so this kind of makes sense, but geez, this is really crowded. Here we go, this is what we need to see. Look at all of these masks. There are a couple that I do have, there are a lot that I don't. Like, some of these are really cool. We have found the mystery box area. Just a ton of different mystery boxes. You got Stranger Things ones, you got anime ones, fantasy adventure, sci-fi, Bob's Burgers, SpongeBob, a whole bunch of different ones that you can get here. I don't know, man. I don't know. What am I? What am I feeling? What am I feeling? Maybe I'll get something. A little bit too more too expensive for me, so I didn't I didn't get a mystery box. But we're gonna continue looking around, see if we can find anything like super cool. Now these are really cool. I love the Starry Night Darth Vader, the Starry Night Stormtrooper. Those are really well done. Oh, look, there's a cat as, a, as an astronaut. But this one in this beautiful frame, that one is so cool. That is awesome. This is funny. Game of Ham. Imagine if Cards Against Humanity got darker and turned into a board game with optional drinking, smoking, and punishing your friends. That is hilarious. So here are the cards for that game. And so you got why Mo won't mommy stop crying? So let's just let's just go let's just pick right right here, right here. Why won't mommy stop crying? Getting a sucker punch to the nads. Not fun. Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Those are great. This is such a cool idea. This is like they are grammatically correct in most instances. Some of these are really cool. And then the board game on its own can make it turn into a drinking game, punishing your friends, anything. It's so ingenious and honestly a great addition and kind of expansion upon the original idea of Cards Against Humanity. Here's another really cool artist here. Fake records, real art. So we have some corroded coffin, master of the dungeons. Day man, the night man cometh again. That's a cool re like record sleeve. Threat level midnight two, return of golden face. Duke silver. Let's see what else we got. Welcome to movies. We got oh wait, ah, I love this one. It's a pool world after all. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, and it even has stuff on the back. Bibbidi boppity pool, you got a friend inside me. <laughs> Can you feel Deadpool tonight? All right, here's our next really cool artist, Stun Spore Studios. We got Pokeball Terrariums. Those are adorable. Gengar, Michu, Mi uh, mi sorry, Mimikyu, my, my mis mistake. Chikorita, Growlithe. Oh my gosh. Ooh, much lax. These are adorable. Oh my gosh, look at that one. These are so cool. I finally made my way to the gaming area. Let's go check out to see what games we can play. It looks like there is a ton of Smash Bros going on right now. Maybe we can get in on a game. 
Alright, so it was a little bit too crowded to play some games. There was too many people. Uh, it was they, they weren't really doing a tournament right now. They were just doing free play, so there wasn't anything open for me. So we're just going to continue walking around, I guess. I have been walking around this entire area for so long now, and it keeps feeling like I keep finding like new stuff, like just here right in front of me. They have specific stuff for the Fan Expo from RS via LTS. Like, look, they have rocky trunks, like boxing trunks as swim trunks. They got some specific house uh, shirts for uh, Harry Potter. They got a bunch of different stuff. These are all really cool looking. They got Back to the Future as well. All right, here's another one. Video Game Shadow Box, videogameshadowbox.com. They have these cool shadow boxes of a whole bunch of different video games, but now they include augmented reality. So he just showed us one for this one, and it was completely like animated in augmented reality. It was so cool. I found some more horror stuff. You guys, Scream of Wee, Texas Toast Munch. Hellfire Comb, Hell Reason Cinnabites, any other ones? But all of these look super cool. All right, I found another amazing artist, Woodcrafted Wood Art. They got some, some, some Disney stuff, they got some Universal stuff. We have a 3D map of the Haunted Mansion. We got one of, the, of Pirates, we got one of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. The, the gray movie ride, R.I.P. Journey into Imagination. They got a whole bunch of these cool things. Like, look at that. Captain Jake's Amity Boat Tours. Jurassic River Adventure. As a Universal and a Disney fan, this guy's doing, this guy's doing a great service here. Ionix Media, that's, that's his name. Definitely Go check him out, because these are amazing. All right, we stepped away from the main hall and we were able to find the Japanese arcade room. So let's head in there. So they got some Japanese arcade games in here that I have actually played at another arcade. But some of these are pretty cool. We got DDR, we got, let's see what's over there. We got a Mario Kart racing game. Ooh, that one's one of my personal favorites. I have played that one a lot at the arcade I go to. This one's interesting over here, though. I don't think I've ever seen this one, but that one's cool as well. All right, and just like that, we are done here at Fan Expo Philly. I had a great time today. I got to meet the two people that I wanted to meet. It was super cool seeing all of the amazing cosplays, seeing all of the amazing artists, and just talking to people. It was really great just going out and seeing all this cool stuff. I mean, I 100% recommend that you guys come out here next year and check this out because it is definitely something you don't want to miss and just everything about it is super cool and thank you once again thank you to the to fan expo for inviting me out here to check that out this for media i had, like i said i had a fantastic day but if you did enjoy this video please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below are you planning on coming out here did you actually stop out here this year i would like to know down below but as always i'm michael from hollow thrills giving you the all clear and all clear means you're out of here See you guys next time.